Channel 2 Action News has learned that a former Atlanta police officer accused of murdering his Lyft driver spent some time in handcuffs last year. Channel 2's Michael Seiden is live outside the Fulton County Jail with the trouble the officer got into before this latest murder arrest. And Karen, this former APD officer waived his first appearance today. That's pretty common. Anytime a suspect is facing a murder charge, it's pretty rare for them to get a bond. In the meantime, though, as you mentioned, he's got a criminal history. We learned a little bit more about that when we got the report earlier today. He's the former Atlanta police officer accused of murdering a Lyft driver. On Wednesday, Kobe Miner told Union City Police that he shot and killed 35-year-old Reggie Folks because he thought Folks was a member of a gay fraternity and was trying to recruit him and kidnap him. But Folks' friends call those claims complete nonsense. In fact, they told us that he was a professional wrestler who was driving lifts so he could earn some extra money. So he was such a genuinely good dude. He, he, he just didn't deserve to go out this way. It's a ball energy. He lit up the room every time he came in. Um, just just an awesome person, man. It, it just, just starting to break out. Miner's arrest for murder comes nearly five months after Milton police arrested him on drug charges. This is a copy of his mugshot from Christmas Eve 2023. According to an incident report, Milton police responded to a single vehicle crash where they found Miner conscious and breathing but confused about where he was. Officers also reported that when he stepped out of his wrecked car, he stumbled a few times and struggled to maintain his balance. When officers searched his vehicle, police discovered 20 Xanax pills that were not in their original container. Police charged Miner with possession of a controlled substance and added that they believed he was impaired at the time of the crash. So also in that report, they say that when Miner got out of that vehicle from that crash, another citation fell out. The officer apparently asked him where that came from, and that's when Miner told him, according to that report, that he had just been in another accident less than an hour before that. Now, of course, he was pay, uh, placed on unpaid administrative leave until he submitted his resignation yesterday. We'll stay on top of this case for now. We are live outside the Fulton County Jail. Michael Seiden, Channel 2 Action News.